And those are the headlines that we are tracking for you today on Startup Street. Now, fintech platform Credit B has raised an additional $100 million in primary funding from Advent International in an extension of its Series D round. With this, it has now closed the second tranche of the $200 million Series D fund raise. The fintech is going to deploy this additional capital towards scaling the existing business and diversify its product offering by venturing into digitally enabled financial products. Joining me now to talk about this funding and the outlook for 2023 is Madhusudan Ikambram, the co-founder and CEO of Credit B. Madhu, thanks very much for joining us again here on Startup Street. Uh, you've closed the Series D funding round with this $200 million now. We understand that the company is valued at close to a little under $700 million. Could you confirm that for us? No, so uh, thank you. You know, so one is uh, definitely we have closed our uh, Series D. I think last time when we discussed it was a tranche one, which was of 80 mil. And uh, there's an additional 120 mil with Advent leading the round uh, with about 100 mil and uh, MUFG, uh, Mitsubishi UFG Bank, uh, which is one of the largest uh, Japanese bank also joined in. So these are the two new investors who came in in this particular Series D round for us. And rest of the money was pulled in from most of our existing uh, shareholders, uh, right? So most of our existing investors. So that showed us a, a good amount of confidence in the company, not just the the new investors who came in, but all the existing investors uh, participated. Whoever has kind of funded us in last Series C round, everyone kind of funded us uh, yeah. in this round as well. So that was a, a, a one of the uh, biggest confidence booster that the company and the management has received. Um, and of course, uh, on the on the on your question on the valuation, I would like to remain valuation. silent and definitely, uh, definitely the the numbers yeah. what is quoted in the media is is not close to uh, what we are valued at. To be clear, the number quoted in the media is six eighty million dollars. But anyway, what plans now, Madhu? What, how exactly are you going to use these funds? You said you want to scale business, diversify products. Do you want to extend your offerings to new categories of loans also? Yes, uh, Ritu. So I, I think there's a there's a technical problem for every lending company, be it by bank or NBFC. There is a certain thing called as a equity to debt leverage, uh, right? So that plays a very key role in in the growth in the growth phase of uh, NBFC or a bank. Uh, where on a single dollar, what you have it as equity, there is a certain amount of dollars what you can borrow from the market to build your AUM or asset under management. So um, uh, definitely, you know, we we were a high scale growing business. So we had hit that thresholds and therefore equity infusion was very much necessary. Uh, I think that was one of the key reasons. But other than that, um, we had a very good pedigree of local PE funds. Uh, by I mean, very good branded pedigree uh, local PE funds like Azim Premji's um, Premji Invest or Motilal Oswal, um, uh, right? So what we were looking for is to kind of get um, an international uh, PE fund like Advent. Um, you know, Advent is uh, one of the largest PE funds with with an with a fund size of about like thirty billion dollar plus. And uh, just in this year, they have invested about a billion dollar in Indian markets, including S Bank. And uh, we were one of the the, the small ticket yeah. um, investment for them. So uh, we wanted to kind of increase that international pedigree. That's where we went and uh, brought in this uh, US-based PE fund, which is Advent, and uh, Mitsubishi Bank, which is from Japan. Um, so that's that was the second idea. Um, the third one is definitely to kind of increase the the different set of products what we want to launch. And um, as I mentioned last time as well, yeah. we are looking to kind of foray into uh, SME lending, both secured and unsecured. And that's the the new segment what we'll be looking to kind mm -hmm. of uh, expand. So more geared towards SME lending, secured and unsecured. But, you know, how many loans are you currently disbursing on a monthly basis? And where are you seeing maximum credit demand come from? See, I think uh, as of now, we are uh, we are uh, largely a, uh, a personal loan uh, company, right? So we we, uh, we provide loans to both um, self-employed and salaried folks. And uh, we do about 1,400-odd crores uh, on a monthly basis. Um, is what we lend out on the on the personal loan segment, and of course, you know the SME segment, as I mentioned, is yet to kind of start, and uh, we have taken certain baby steps. Um, but we look forward to kind of this product taking up at least thirty percent of our business share um, in in an year's time, and that's where we are heading towards. Yeah. Okay, and and I remember you also earlier told us you want to cross that a billion dollar AUM figure uh, mark over the next six to nine months. Where are you currently? Are you on track to do this? And what's going to drive that kind of AUM growth? 
No, I think, uh, you know, as I told, like, you know, monthly when we are doing about uh, uh, 1,400 odd crores, I think, uh, you know, so we are we might achieve this uh, billion dollar AUM much sooner than even six months. Um, so we are very close to that. I mean, I would say that okay. we are just away from about like three to four months in achieving that uh, specific AUM. Um, so uh, the growth comes largely from, you know, uh, what, what is the key US, USP, right? So uh, we are basically a mid-India, middle-class, uh, mid-income segment lender, uh, right? So although everyone gets put under a similar bracket that a digital lender or a digital lending app, but but there's a different segment what we cater to. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, more than 75% of my customers are from non-metro cities. Uh, roughly 50% of my customers are self-employed and 50% uh, of them are salaried. Um, so that's the segment what, what we typically deal with. It's a middle-class segment. Um, so that's that's where our customers are. And, and you know, the, the growth is driven largely because of our repeat customers, as in like, any given month when I'm lending out hundred dollars, mm. about about eighty dollars is going towards my repeat customers. Only twenty percent goes to my new customers. So okay. since I have a large customer base, so repeat business is kind of driving that growth uh, phenomenally. Okay, uh, Madhu, just one last question since we've run out of time. Uh, you know, from the digital lending rules to the more recent securitization guidelines, lots of changes in the fintech space from the RBI. What do you make of the current regulatory environment and how has that impacted your workflow? See, I guess uh, uh, regulations in India is uh, quite evolving uh, in, in the right direction. And uh, what is very clear uh, today uh, from the regulator is, you know, so somewhere um, the NBFC-led businesses are kind of encouraged uh, by the regulator. And the pure play platforms, uh, platform game, where there is limited supervision is really not encouraged. So therefore, uh, for us, it was it was a different game because from day one, we were NBFC focused. Uh, we have a systemically important NBFC within the within our group of companies. And, uh, you know, our, our focus was uh, to kind of, uh, you know, scale as an, a typical NBFC would do. So the, the guidelines really did not affect us as much as for many other platform companies uh, which which dependent on a third party NBFC to kind of do their businesses. Um, so in a way, you know, it's it's a very clear message that um, the the RBI want to kind of have a, a good governance on any lending activities that happens in the country, and um, a licensed approach is the right way. Um, for us, it was it was always we were on a licensed approach, so um, it, it did not deter too much of into our business models. Sure. Sure, Madhu. Thanks very much. That's all the time we have. Uh, and good luck with your fundraise. Thank you. All right. Moving on, on what's brewing today, the whole truth.